Hi everyone, welcome back. Um, I'm doing another fragrance review today. Um, and this fragrance is uh, special because it's something I discovered recently. Um, it's by the house of Chanel. Um, and I've never been um, a Chanel type of guy. However, I was with, um, I was with, I was shopping with a friend and she was like, tell me, how come you never try Chanel fragrances? I, you seem to me like a like someone who would, who would love them. And so we went to the counter, um, and the sales lady was just, once again, so persuasive. And she was going through all the, the Chanel fragrances with me, and I thought, you know, you, maybe she's gonna show me Chanel number no. five, because that's the one that everyone talks about. Um, however, she introduced me to this one fragrance called, um, and I have it with me, um, she calls it the original Coco by Chanel, so it's just Coco by Chanel. And she w she said if a if I would to put a um, celebrity's face on this this fragrance or if a celebrity would wear this fragrance, um, she would say Angelina Jolie, and that completely um, sold the fragrance to, for the fragrance to me because I I absolutely love Angelina Jolie. I think she has this classy, um, very seductive but responsible type of look. She went ahead and sprayed it on a test strip and I completely fell in love. And I don't know why more men um, are not wearing this fragrance because yes, it's targeted to women, the entire brand, but this fragrance is so masculine for some reason. Let me, um, I'm not reading you all the notes. Maybe I'll put it up somewhere here um, because they're just so, this, this fragrance is very complicated. I'll just read to you the stuff that sticks out to me. Um, orange flower, jasmine, tonka, and vanilla. And right away those are fragrances, uh, those are notes that I am familiar with, that I tend to gravitate towards. Um, so that explains why maybe that I love this fragrance so much. Um, let me spray it. Even on the first spritz, it smells very expensive. And then it quickly, very quickly, dries down um, to this clean yet spicy uh, fragrance. So the thing with the Chanel branch is that uh, many of their fragrances have this very fresh, fruity, floral-y, clean um, smell. However, this, uh, the original Coco by Chanel, has a spicy um, under underpinning vibe to it. I actually sprayed this um, on myself and asked my father what he thought. And I asked him because he's one of the toughest critics in terms of fragrances. Everything pisses him off. And I sprayed this and he asked me if I can buy a bottle for him and my mother to share. Um, and that was because this fragrance has this clean, universally clean smell that I can't imagine anyone not liking. And it, it's powdery, but it does powdery very well. Um, it's not like Prada's infusion where all you get is powder. This is powder mixed with something very spicy, and then it hasn't completely dried down yet, but from experience I'm wearing this, when it dries down, there is this um, profound layer of spice um, that just takes over your body and, and it lasts a very long time. The only um, the only disadvantage with this fragrance is that you're gonna want to spray a lot of it in the beginning um, because it smells so good and you want your entire body to smell like Coco Chanel. You want everyone to know that you're wearing Coco Chanel. However, you overspray this. It's very easy to overspray this. I think if you spray it more than three times, even three is a lot, it gets, um, it can be very suffocating. <laughs> That's because the clean scent, the clean smell that I keep alluding to is very, very strong. Um, like, it can make you cough. Like, that's how strong it is. Um, so I think one spray on each wrist, uh, if you're feeling um, very ambitious, maybe one on the back of your neck as well. Um, but I wouldn't go beyond that because it can get very overwhelming. Um, I was just at the, I wore this and I went, um, I went to a grocery store where I get my lunch, um, and this, the cashier was like, you smell really good, and I was like, thanks, and she's like, no, 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 I'm not, I'm not kidding, like, you smell really good, what are you wearing, and I said, Coco Chanel, and she's like, 
oh, that's why she apparently she used to wear it, and, and it used to be like a classic for her. So that's the other thing. This fragrance strikes a um, strikes an aura of uh, familiarity. Like I think everyone can relate to this fragrance. And the other thing is that not she that lady did not twitch once when I said um, I'm wearing Chanel. Like it's not even. We've come, we've reached a stage where no one even cares if a man is wearing Chanel, a Chanel fragrance, especially when it's Coco by Chanel because it's so, it's so universal and it's so gender bending. And I, ha I hate that term because it's, <laughs> it's such a um, social justice warrior millennial term, but that's exactly what this fragrance is. Um, it's, it takes your gender expectations and it completely shatters them because if you were to just blind smell this uh, and not know which house is from you'll you'll have a split vote between whether it's feminine or or masculine and you know if you've watched my other videos that i'm all about fragrances um that are unisex it's weird when i make these videos because i i have all this I have all these things um, I want to say in my head, and then I, I sit in front of the camera, and then I forget what I'm about to say. Um, but if it if it isn't um, obvious by this point in the video, I absolutely love this fragrance, and I recommend every man to um, have this. It's almost like a secret weapon in your collection of fragrances um, because it'll, it'll definitely cause people to turn their heads um, and it makes you smell very expensive. It makes people take you seriously. The type of man or the type of woman to wear this fragrance is someone like Angelina Jolie, like I said, someone who's very um, seductive, very professional, and very reliable. This fragrance screams responsibility. Not to mention the um, the bottle is absolutely stunning. I, I just love having this on my um, on my vanity. And it's amazing how fragrances can really hold on to a moment in your life and not let go. I wore this uh, on my birthday. Um, I had a birthday celebration and my friend held um, a celebration for me at this hotel. And I wore this all, all night long and every time I spray this, I'm reminded of my 25th birthday. It's weird. Um, and nothing about this screams 25. In fact, this, the age range for this, I think, um, is more suitable for someone reaching their their 30s, like 28 to mid to mid 30s. You know, the prime years where everything is making sense. Because right now, at the age of 25, I can tell you from personal experience that everything is super confusing. Um, but just because you're confused uh, um, and life is a bit messy doesn't mean you have to smell messy. I should end the video because I don't know what I'm saying. Um, anyways, I will see you guys in another video. Um, yeah, thanks for uh, watching. Thanks for... Thanks for watching. Um, I give up. Just, I'm turning this off.